Hello and welcome. It is the 22nd of September 2014 and this is the 20th development vlog for Glowbreaker version 2. You probably can hear that I'm really excited. I'm excited because Glowbreaker has progressed a lot. I'm going to be showing you in a moment. I'm not going to be showing you any code. We're going to be doing these development vlogs a little different. One, we won't be doing them as frequently because as you can tell, it's been a long time since uh, we've done the last one. Uh, so, so we're going to make sure a lot has gone down and then we'll show you the progress instead of showing you like every day or every couple of days and we're also not going to be showing you much code and the, same, the reason is we were we was only showing you for a couple of seconds so you couldn't really learn much from the code and these development vlogs aren't about our code it's about you seeing how Glowbreaker is progressing because if you want to learn you know Coco CDX tutorials or game programming tutorials, we've got tutorials for that. Uh, so, so these are just to show you how we're progressing. But if we come across something in the code that seems quite universal and generic, that will help. Like sometimes we come across a bug and we mentioned it before, then we'll let you know. We'll have a link in the description to some sort of source code. Otherwise, we'll just be showing you the application itself. So let's go ahead and run it on the Mac. It looks great on the iPad. I'm actually seeing it on the iPad on my desk at the moment, but here we go. So, a new menu system, I'm pretty sure this wasn't in the old uh, version when did the last development vlog, which was, seems like eons ago that we did the development vlog. I've been saying for days I'm going to do one, I'm going to do one, and I thought, I'm going to do one now, I've got some food on, it's going to take a little while for it to be made, so I thought, I'll do the development vlog. Okay, the level editor has changed a lot, can't show you, because my friend is doing that, and we haven't done a merge yet. Uh, with the new code, uh, so now exactly on my code, but I haven't got his code, therefore the, the level editor is looking good, he, sh he, sh he has shown me it's looking epic. But let's just show you the next stage, so we get phase one, phase two, again, Lord, if you see something that doesn't look right, chances are it's just a placeholder, like this, this is out of place, this will be a back button, but it doesn't look correct, and the reason there's two play buttons, because one is play and one is level editor. Again, that's going to change. Even this screen is going to change. We've redone it, and we're going to redo it again and make it even better. This screen is going to change as well. We're going to make it even better. So we click on Phase 1. And we have now this scrolling menu with a parallax effect. So you can see the stars. You see you got a little glow breaker sign flickering on and off. We've got lanterns turning on and off got some lamps turning on and off, we've got all the levels, you can't click on these because we haven't unlocked them yet, and there's this little section here for stars, and we, I've literally just implemented it today, finished just before doing this video, implementing the free star system, so you can earn free stars, we've got this little two balls, they're quite random, but they look cool, and they f fit the art style of the game, and they're glowing on and off. This was actually different first, and I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not even talking about the one that you saw. I'm talking about one we had about a week or two ago, and it was more indoors. We had the outside, like these sort of uh, mountains, and all these lights on there, but you, you could see it through a window. You scrolled in, and there were shelves, and there was uh, lamps inside. Uh, but we changed it, we're generally going to have the entire game in an outside theme, so that's what we went for. If we click on level 1, as you can see quite a lot has changed here as well. We've got the new brick types, all new brick types. We've got the new paddles, we've changed the paddles again because we changed them once. But we made them even better because they looked a bit out, out of place once the new bricks are in. We've got the new ball which is looking epic. But yeah, let's just play it and we've got the new uh, power-ups at the moment. Every time you destroy a brick, a power-up is being spawned in the full game. That won't be the case. It will be a chance that a uh, power-up will be spawned. Plus, also, any power-up that you collect is just a multiple power-up. And that's, for now, uh, is set like that so I can easily complete a level. Because otherwise, for testing, it just, takes a little while. it just takes a little while to complete a level. So this just speeds up the process. So actually what I'm going to do is just complete the level so I can show you what happens because we've implemented that part as well. The balls are moving at a nice cool speed. The game is a lot more fun. We're still looking at ways to implement the live system aka how to display them because the lives are fully implemented now. 
Uh, we're not too sure how to do whether to go down the typical route, say lives and maybe a free ball or free hearts. We want to do something different because we've taken a, the pause button out and we literally just have, you just tap anywhere on the top section and it pauses it. And we want to do something seamless like that for the lives. Well, again, we are looking into it. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let us know. Okay, it's one brick to go and it, uh, uh, it's going to go down with this one, yep. So, yeah, there you go. We have this little thing come down. Uh, again, all of these placeholders except for the stars. So, you just say, well done. How many stars you got? I've got three stars. And we have three buttons. This is continue to the next level. This is, I believe, go back to the main menu. Right here. I mean, the level select screen. And this is retry. So, if we just go back to menu as you can see we have three stars now and the next level has been unlocked so he saves the data as well and yeah there is quite a lot done in tomorrow what I'm going to be looking at is when the uh, menu appeared showing you how many stars you had earned I'm going to make the stars either resize or like size in they're from literally nothing or really small to the full size or make them fade in that's uh, how a lot of games do so it reveals how many stars you've earned or uh, yeah exactly sorry that's what I'm going to be doing for that one now we try and look into making this scroll bounce aka when I swipe and let go it scrolls for a while uh, not too sure how we're going to do that, but we're looking into that. Plus, going to also look into because we've got menu items for these. If you click on one, you can no longer drag on the background. You can drag if you let go of it, but we want to be able to click and then drag. So if you don't want to select that button, that way uh, we have a lot more real estate, aka a lot of the center part to play with. It's not too much of an issue as we found when you're on this section level when you get to here you sort of naturally don't click on this simply because it looks cool and I think that's what it is and it's quite a big feature and you try and click down here where you was clicking before but it doesn't scroll unless you're lucky enough to click in between but again we are looking into that and we also need the back button on here the phase 2 will have a totally different level select so it's going to have a similar scrolling select but it's going to be different so that is it hope you have liked the progress we are very pleased and very happy with the progress if you have any questions in general feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube I'll best say all the requirements for source code will be in the description no source code is going to be in the description but yeah, hope you have a great evening, morning, or wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And as usual, as you, I don't even know what I'm saying. As you can tell, I am just really psyched. One, because I got food and I'm really hungry. Two, because we're progressing really well. Oh, I actually forgot to say one more thing before we end this video. My mate who's doing the, the other part of the coding as well, who's doing the level editor, he has implemented Google Play services. So we have achievements working for iOS and Android. Again, can't show you that. He's got the code, but I can say it does work because he has sent me builds and it works wonderful. Uh, wonderful? It works wonderful? That don't make sense. It works amazing. Yeah, that sounds better. It works amazing. So we're going to have achievements in the upcoming version of Globebreaker. Thank you for watching and have a great day.